Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general message for the month of June. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and I'm from babycurltarot.com. Keep in mind this message is for any Scorpio placement you want to check in on, including but not limited to your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. Again, any placement. Does not matter. You're welcome here. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. But Scorpios, please keep in mind, if you enjoy this reading, please leave a like and a comment. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. All right, Spirit, what messages do we have for my Scorpios? What's the overall energy of the month of June for my Scorpios? What is the overall energy for the month of June for my Scorpios? Let's see what you got spirit i want to know i want to know oh we got peace i like that i like that for us scorpios i am a scorpio too i got a lot of scorpio placements and at the bottom of the deck we got strength okay peace and strength i like that i like that i like it i like it a lot all right, let's see what else. What else do we need to be aware of, Spirit? What additional energies do we need to be aware of for the month of June for my Scorpios? Okay, we got two that flipped over. So we got Scorpio and Pisces together. Okay, could be you, could be dealing with a Pisces. All right, what's at the bottom of the deck? We have conjunction, the aspect of empowerment. Okay. So you could be coming together with a Pisces, okay, in one way or another. A Pisces could play a pretty big role for you this month in some way. All right. Hmm. Conjunction talks about support to me. All right. Uh, strengthening, joining forces with, all of that. So, and there could also be some Pisces energy floating about. I know there's a couple planets in Pisces right now. Um, so that could be, um, that could be a factor here as well. But let's go ahead and get into the tarot. Let's see what messages Spirit has for you. Spirit, what messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding their month of June? What messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding their month of June? Huh, okay. So we have the Knight of Swords reversed, the Fool in reverse. I thought I saw another one that flipped over. No, I'm tripping. Okay. We got the Star, and then we got the Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So we have double Aquarius energy here with the Fool and the Star. We have air energy with the Knight of Swords, and then we have Pisces energy here with the Ten of Cups. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> Scorpios, I'm hearing for some of you, you may have had some difficulty moving forward in some way. This may have to do with Mercury retrograde. I mean, the Knight of Swords, when it's in the reverse, reminds me of Mercury retrograde, so that could be a big reason as to why it feels like you can't completely start fresh start new but the funny thing is it's like a lot of you guys still have a lot of hope it's like you almost understand you almost understand that this isn't the right time you're just keeping your eyes on the prize and you're waiting for the right time to like to get started does that make sense what you don't see coming is this ten of cups energy something is going to make you very 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 happy like overwhelmingly happy, like you're not gonna know what to do with it. <laughs> you're not gonna know what to do with it with the seven of wands in reverse. Some of you guys may be like really caught off guard. Okay, I also saw the 10 of swords there. If you have some healing that you need to do, do your healing, okay? Especially if this is like romantic, okay? If there's some healing that you haven't dealt with, um, do it now, okay? This is the time. Um, mm -hmm. some of you guys may have, I mean, I mean, the biggest message I'm getting is transition period. You guys are in a transition period, but you're not like stressed out about it. Is that weird? My Scorpios are like, what do you mean? <laughs> We're always stressed. 
I know, I know. It's weird for me too, but it's like, I'm also hearing some of you could have blocked somebody and maybe that's why you're feeling really happy. Like even though you don't have everything that you want just yet, you're like, at least I, I, I cut out the bullshit in my life. At least I got that part right. <laughs> but we'll wait for the rest to come when it's, when it's time. Very interesting. Um, I kind of want to clarify some things here. I want to clarify some things here. Can we, Spirit, can we clarify the Fool in Reverse for my Scorpios? Can we clarify the Fool in Reverse for my Scorpios? What is this Fool card in Reverse? It's the Fool card in Reverse for my Scorpios. What's going on here? Son of Coins reversed. Two of Coins. Ace of Knives. Four of Knives reversed. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, it feels like there's an opportunity that you are like waiting to hear from, okay? Or there's an opportunity that just isn't ready. Like you may not have the right, you may not have the plans down, okay? So if some of you guys are like looking to build a business or something, Spirit is saying like this is the time to really get your plan together because they're like, you don't have it together. <laughs> You need, you have some things to work out still, <laughs> or you need to get prepared for what's to come because it, it could be really big. I mean, the star card is also about fame and notoriety. So some of you guys could be in the public eye. Um, some of you guys could have something go viral. Okay. So they want you to be prepared, um, before all this happens, because I get the feeling you're going to be very busy very soon. Very, very soon. Um, overwhelmingly, <laughs> overwhelmingly happy about it, but also very busy. Okay, so something to keep in mind, Scorpios. Let's go ahead and move on. Spirit, can we get some additional messages for my Scorpios? What else do they need to know about the month of June? What else do my Scorpios need to know about the month of June? Let's see. All right. Let's get it. Let's go. We got the Hierophant, the Three of Swords, and Justice in Reverse with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I am confusion. What is happening here? Are some of you guys in a relationship that just is not right for you? Mm. Are you guys being taken advantage of? Okay. It feels like some of you guys are running from a situation that did you wrong. And while you're still in the middle of healing and um, being hurt, you're like running in the direction of something that is a better fit for you. This could be more romantically. Okay, this could be more romantic. Um, for some of you, this could be work-related. This could be... Uh, Shoot, this could be legally related. But ultimately what I'm seeing here is someone is moving away from something that was unjust, unfair, and moving towards something that is going to be um, much better in the long run. And I'm hearing a higher level of commitment. Okay, so whatever that means for you. this Again, this could very well be romantic. That or you're seeking guidance. Very, very uh rare but on occasion i do sometimes see the hierophant as a representative of our ancestors some of you guys could be seeking help or guidance from like a spiritual person okay you guys could be getting tarot readings um or seeking the help of someone who is like tapped into the spiritual realm could be a pisces for some of you could be a taurus okay um doesn't have to be, just take what resonates. But a lot of you guys are seeking answers regarding this. How do I heal? How do I do the work? Where do I go from here? Kind of an energy with the Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. We also have the Page of Swords in reverse and the Strength card. Wow. Um, hmm. Yeah, it's like, what do I need to learn? What do I need to work on? What do I do from, where do I go from here? And for a lot of you, it's like building that inner strength because again, we have the strength card right here underneath these two other bottom cards. 
So finding that inner strength, but inner peace, because st the strength card is not about brutal, brute, like physical strength. It's about an internal strength. And honestly, it's more about internal peace, being confident in yourself without having to be loud, boastful, or forceful. Okay, so it is a mix of strength and peace. It's like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Discipline, being disciplined, self-disciplined. So a lot of you guys could be doing some deep inner healing, deep inner work, um, mentally, emotionally speaking, but moving yourself away from situations that possibly you keep attracting because you haven't healed something, okay? Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just, I'm just saying what I see, Scorpios. Okay, don't come for me in the comments because I'm not going to, I'm not going to put up with it. If it doesn't resonate for you, it's not for you. Keep it pushing. Keep your anger over there. Don't direct it towards me because all you're going to do is yell into the void. I'm not responding to that stuff. Anywho. All right, Spirit. <laughs> what additional messages do you have for my Scorpios for their month of June? What additional messages do you have for my Scorpios for their month of June? What else do my Scorpios need to be aware of for the month of June? All right. Seven of Cups reversed. The Seven of Cups reversed has been showing up in a lot of readings for the month of June. A lot of questions, a lot of confusion. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups reversed, the Queen of Pentacles reversed, the Tower in reverse, and the Four of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let me just look. Four, four. Uh huh. Okay. A lot of you guys are holding back mostly to protect yourselves from what I'm getting. A lot of you guys are holding back on something, okay? Rebuilding something with the tower card here. You guys may have gone through a huge shakeup. Again, this could be related somehow. We have a lot of major arcana cards here on the table. So some of you guys could have gone through like a really, really, really traumatic shift or relationship, something. Okay, but now that the tower moment has happened, it's time for you to rebuild, but a lot of you are scared, okay? If this is talking about relationships, a lot of you are scared to put yourselves out there again because you're scared. You don't want to get hurt again. You just went through this huge tower moment. Like, why would you put yourself through that again, okay? But what I'm getting is like, as long as you're doing the healing and you're taking the time to really sit down with yourself and sort out all of the issues or any issues you know, that you've had in the past, taking a deep look at yourself or these past relationships, what they have in common, um, and, and, and working on that. It's like, you'd rather just crawl up in a cave somewhere or put up a wall around your heart or put up your stinger <laughs> than actually be vulnerable and put yourselves out there. A lot of you guys are not grounded in your heart space. Um, that could come out in a number of ways. That could come out in a number of ways. Scorpios, this could come out in the form of jealousy. This could come out in the form of greed. Um, this could come out in the form of, I'm gonna hurt you before you hurt me. Uh, kind of an energy, right? Um, you gotta get, you gotta get through that. You gotta break through that. Okay, you got to learn to be a little bit more vulnerable here, okay? Because it feels like there's some really beautiful things happening for you. There's some beautiful opportunities out there for you, especially if this is relationship related for you guys. There's something here that you are walking towards that is going to be just perfect for you. Higher commitment, higher levels of commitment. Okay, but you're not going to get there unless you step outside of this, this fear, this mindset of fear. All right, Scorpios, does that make sense? I hope it does. All right, Scorpios, again, please leave a like and a comment if you're resonating with this message so far or you're enjoying this message so far. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the Oracle deck section of the reading. Spirit, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios regarding their month of June? What messages do you have for my Scorpios regarding their month of June? Let's see. 
and Scorpios, before you come for me, I'm a Scorpio too. So a lot of these messages I'm very familiar with and I'm like, yeah, 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 <laughs> for myself. So don't feel like I'm, I'm attacking you or trying to make you feel bad about yourself. But sometimes this is stuff we need to hear and it's hard. I know it is, especially when you've put yourself out there and been through some dumb, horrible shit. I mean, it's just, you don't want to do, you don't want to put yourself through that again. I get it. I really do. Um, but we can't let that define the rest of our lives. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got for you. We got the pink rose gratitude interesting interesting gratitude what does gratitude look like to you guys i know what it looks like to me but i'm interested to know what it looks like to you especially in the tough times how are you grateful even in the hard times at the bottom of the deck we have the lemon cleansing yeah you guys are getting rid of a lot of stuff and i feel like a lot of it is internal Okay. There's some there's some things you definitely need to clear out internally, emotionally, mentally, some blockages, um, fear. Okay, there's a lot of things we need to clean out for ourselves this month. All right, Spirit, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios regarding their month of June? What additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios regarding their month of June? Ooh, we have the new moon in Aquarius. Open up to change. All right. So again, letting go of the fear. Letting go of the fear. I don't know if you can see that on the screen. Uh, whatever. <laughs> okay. But you saw the card. So open up to change. Opening up to being more open, even for a lot of you. At the bottom of the, look at this, full moon and cancer at the bottom of the deck, let your fears dissolve. You know, Scorpios, you can be mad at me all you want to, but it's right here in the cards. Gotta let some fears go. It's time to take down that wall that you built up around yourself. Put the stinger down. As one of my other favorite reaver, uh, reavers, readers likes to say, you got to put the stinger away, Scorpios. <laughs> I love her. Shout out to Alex's healing tarot. Um, all right, Spirit, what additional messages, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for their month of June? Scorpios. <laughs> I fucking love Alex. <laughs> Alex, if you're watching this, hey girl, I love you. <laughs> All right, so we have Marie Laveau. Good juju. Yeah, a lot of you guys got some healing. Y'all are going to a guru. Y'all are going to somebody. Y'all are going to a Baba Lao or a, a high priestess, high priest, somebody. You're going to somebody in the spiritual community for some good juju, for some good messages, some good advice. Maybe you guys are practitioners yourself and you know exactly what it is you need to do. All right, get to work, baby. There's some good energy around you. You're just gonna have to, gonna like get a handle on it. You gotta grab it, reach out and take it kind of a thing, you know? But there is good energy out there for you. We have Sara La Kali, Divine Lineage. You are on the right path. You're on the right path, Scorpios, okay? You just gotta keep, keep pushing yourself, keep, uh, and not pushing yourself to like the point of exhaustion, but just like keep pushing yourself in the right direction. Keep learning to open up. Keep learning to be strong without being hard. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, at the bottom of the deck, we have Sukuyant. Sukuyant, I'm not sure how to pronounce the name. I hope I didn't butcher it, but it says scarcity. Okay. For a lot of you guys, because this tard card, this tard, Jesus, I cannot talk today. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. This card talks about energy vampires or vampires in general and like a, a lack mindset. A lot of you guys could have been in a situation with an energy vampire and you guys are finally blocking them out. You're finally walking away. You've had enough. You're not going to take anymore. You're not going to be this person's punching bag anymore. You're not going to let them feed off of your energy because a lot of my Scorpios, y'all are very abundant. Y'all are very, very powerful. And you guys know how to manifest things like crazy. 
So it feels like someone else is kind of feeding off of that abundant manifestation power that you have. And in the process, it left you with nothing to manifest for yourselves. So it was like finally being able to step away and walk away from this person is now allowing you to get what it is that you want, your future, your destiny, okay? So Scorpios, when we leave this behind, let's leave it behind for good, okay? I love you guys. All right, let's move on to this next deck. This is the Daily Crystal Inspiration deck. If you guys like working with crystals, this is a great opportunity to see what crystals you can work with this month um, as you move through all this energy, all right? Spirit, what additional messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios for the month of June? What messages, advice, or encouragement do you have for my Scorpios, my Scorpios. <laughs> Love it. All right, we have the Garnet. Ignite your passion. Yes. Yes. Let it breathe. Let it fly. I heard, um, fly, my pretties, fly from uh, the Wizard of Oz, <laughs> the Witch of the East. I'm not going to call her Wicked because I think that is, um, I think that's biased, okay? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but like allowing yourself to feel uninhibited with your power, with your expression, with your passions, what it is that you want to go after, not holding yourself back anymore, just like letting it out, letting it out in the open, allowing yourself to explore it, allowing other people to experience it. A lot of you guys have major star potential, major star qualities to you and you got to let that out so people can see it and that's where the opportunities lie is when you let it out and people see it okay let it shine in all of its glory please all right we have unakite live in the now mm -hmm. a lot of you guys are worried about the pa the past or the the future Okay, spirit doesn't want you to get caught up in the anxiety of all that stuff or in the pain of all that stuff. Obviously, deal with your pain and your emotions, but like, don't sit here putting yourself through the whys. Why? 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 Or what if? Or, you know, anything like that. Try to get grounded. Try to stay present as best you can. I know it's not always easy, so just do what you can to remind yourself that you're here in this space right now and nothing bad is happening to you right at this moment okay at the bottom of the deck we have rainbow obsidian heal your heart i didn't i didn't i say that scorpios didn't i say that i did i said that there you go um it's not just me saying it. I'm not bullshitting here. <laughs> I promise you. I'm not bullshitting. It's it's all lining up, these messages. Fear, healing. You have things you got to heal and let go of. And I know, again, that's difficult to do. But what's on the other side of doing that? I think there's some beautiful things out there for you guys. So hopefully, hopefully you'll take this message and... Um, make it work to your advantage. All right, so this last deck is just for general messages about your month. Could be related to what we talked about here, could be unrelated. It's just more things you need to be aware of, okay? Spirit, what final messages do my Scorpios need to know for their month of June? What else do my Scorpios need to know? We got the pineapple. Reconciliation. There could be a reconciliation with somebody. Doesn't have to be a lover. Okay, could be a friend, could be a family member, could be a, a co-worker, I don't know. All right, but there's some kind of reconciliation happening here for you guys. Maybe that's where this conjunction Pisces energy is coming from. Maybe you're reconciling with a Pisces. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Take what resonates, though. At the bottom of the deck, we have the gavel involvement with the law. Yeah, I did say that with the justice card. Okay. So there could be some involvement with the law, something that you were a victim of, I'm seeing, because the Three of Swords here, Three of Swords here talks about you being hurt in the situation, something that wasn't fair. 
okay? Some of you guys could be going to somebody to help you out with that spiritually, okay? I know a lot of voodoo people, voodoo practitioners, voodoo people, voodoo practitioners. Sorry, my mind is blinking. <laughs> I can't talk today. Um, a lot of people in the spiritual community work specifically with court issues, so there could be some help out there for you if you find the right people. I do know some people, if you are having issues with court cases and you are a victim of something, um, let me know. I can send you some names if you don't already know somebody. Hoodoo Hannah, right off the top of my head, is somebody I can think of who does court cases. Um, my mentor, Oshun's Light, can also help with that. Um, there's two for you right there. All right. Um, and they're both on Instagram, by the way. Um, okay. Spirit. This is the other half of the deck. I split it up because it's a really big deck. I got small hands. We're not going to get into it. So spirit, <laughs> what final messages do my Scorpios need to know, be aware of for their month of June? Okay. We have the forest muddled, unclear thinking. I'm definitely feeling that right now. <laughs> I am definitely feeling that right now. <laughs> What else? We have the mice, discord among friends or family. Okay, yeah. Yep, so there could be a reconciliation here somewhere after all this discord kind of dies down, maybe. At the bottom of the deck, we have the spear, heartache over what you no longer have. Yeah, okay. So that's that's what needs to be healed for you guys this month. All right, Scorpios. Again, please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this reading, if it resonated for you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Um, I also do personal readings, so if you want to schedule on one, bleh, <laughs> see what I mean? If you want to schedule a personal reading with me, you can link up with me through my website, which is below in the description box. If you want to see more content from me, I am on Instagram, TikTok, and I also have a blog. All that info is below as well. As always, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a beautiful month of June, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!